behind Calgary's McDougal Centre, a towering figure of the past is about to cast a new shadow. A new bronze sculpture of British Prime Minister Sir Winston Churchill has just dropped in and is set to be unveiled on June 6th. We have a, an exciting announcement to make. An arrangement supported by former Premier Jason Kenney, a member of the Sir Winston Churchill Society of Calgary. The Society has fundraised for years to pay for the monument, but Albertans paid $60,000 to prepare the site at the McDougall Centre. Finally, the crust of enemy resistance. A soldier, war correspondent, and ultimately a politician, Churchill is credited with leading the Allies to victory in the Second World War. But almost 60 years after his death, why Churchill? And why now? Kenny says his defense of democracy is perennially relevant. You know, when you see the rise of people like Vladimir Putin uh, and other authoritarian regimes threatening peace and security, I think it's important to remember uh, the lessons of Churchill in the 1930s and 40s, which is never to appease evil and aggression, uh, but to call it out for what it is. There are already monuments to Sir Winston Churchill across the country, in Toronto's Nathan Phillips Square and here in Edmonton's Sir Winston Churchill Square. But these monuments are increasingly becoming targets for protesters who say questionable choices of the past have led to inequalities that persist today. Vandals have defaced Churchill monuments before, including Edmonton's. Oh, and great hope. Churchill's comments about people of other races are one thing that makes him a polarizing figure. There's also a debate about his role in the Bengal famine of the 1940s, in which millions of Indian people starved to death. The area where I'm pretty certain today most hostility would exist is on the fact that Winston believed that imperialism was a good thing, that the British Empire was a good thing, and he tried to continue the British Empire as far as he could. And nowadays, there are probably very few people who would sit up and applaud when they hear that that's what Winston believed and was trying to do. Ferris says choosing to memorialize Churchill now is a political decision to bolster conservative ideals. You see, his, his mouth slants down on, uh, to, his, to the left, to the left of his face. The Edmonton sculptor who toiled to create Churchill's likeness says he studied all of his scars, physical and emotional. Danik Mozdensky says monuments like this can have a great effect on communities, and that's why they're sometimes attacked. You know, you may not agree with what your grandparents thought, but you're not going to kick them in the teeth, yeah. right? This picture, from this picture, I learned what the, that world was shaped like. The Churchill Society hopes security and high foot traffic around the monument will help safeguard it as a place for people to enjoy and learn. Janet French, CBC News, Edmonton.